Uh oh! Welcome back to Card Corner. Today we are doing an unboxing and review of the Jakey Franks by Como Rebbe. Before we continue with the review, obviously you need to like and subscribe. Liking these videos really helps out my channel, and if you don't want to miss any future unboxings and reviews, you need to subscribe. You can even hit that bell button to get notified when new videos drop. Back to the video. All right, we got a deck of the awful Jakey Franks by Como Rebbe. These are named after the cardist Jakey Mills. And I promise that there will be no biases when opening up this deck, even though we share almost the same name. I say almost the same name because my legal name on my birth certificate is just Jake. So if you try to be funny with me in person and call me Jacob, you're wrong and a loser. These are of course the second edition of the Frank playing cards. The first edition I have a soft spot for. They're real weird looking, they're real funky looking. They're quite silly looking, to be honest, but that's what I love about them. Right on the front of the tuck box, it says Como Rebbe on the side here. And just like with all the other Como Rebbe decks, the design wraps around from the front all the way to the back. Right here, we get an exclamation mark. This is Frank, Jakey, Frank's exclamation mark. On the bottom, we get the Como Rebbe logo and some manufacturing information. These were made in Taiwan. I know some people like decks made in Taiwan, some people don't. I personally am a fan of decks made in Taiwan, mostly. I have gotten a dud here and there, but for the most part, I think decks made in Taiwan feel really nice. Got a pull tab here so you can open your cards nice and easily. Very nice, smooth matte tuck box. These have a relatively thick border, so there's not a lot of bleed through on the fans here. But when there is, you get a nice little peek at the exclamation mark in the corner right here. And on the other side, we get some of that design peeking through as well. We get a card right here that has an exclamation mark and a bit of green splatter in the dot there. It says, design custom face cards, use greens and purples. Sample AFSM pip structure. Okay. It feels like they're trying to be kind of like meta with this extra card here, like details about designs when it comes to like what they would send to the manufacturer or something. Eh. I think it would have been a little cooler if it was just the exclamation mark, but it's nothing too crazy. You get a card here that says Jakey Edition in tiny little tiny font. Oh shit. We get a landscape deck. Not even joking. Had no idea that this was a landscape deck. That's sick. I love landscape decks. Not only that, but even the landscape is kind of mirrored. Usually the landscape, the pips will be here and here, but now the top is in the right corner. Not only that, but these pips are gray and we get one single purple pip in the corner right there. That's a really nice touch. Whoa, whoa. Just like with the last Frank cards, we're gonna get some really weird abstract images. Although I feel like this is even weirder and more abstract. The first edition featured a lot of like googly eyes and like lightning bolt type of designs. This is just kind of a weird shape right here with some dots. I love the use of the highlighted purple elements. Yo, this looks like the painting that Squidward made in <laughs> SpongeBob. That's kind of crazy. Whoa. This looks like a, like, a, like a little face there. This feels like a Rorschach test, you know? Like just all these moving blobs and images. You kind of get to decide what it looks like here, you know? Someone might open up this deck of cards and be like, why is there a picture of my parents fighting on this? <laughs> Oh, and the clubs feature green pips instead of purple. It feels like a slightly different shade of green. This feels like a lighter green. This is more of a deeper green. These are weird, dude. These are weird, weird, weird. There's that more recognizable zigzag pattern that we got from the last deck, as well as just in the mouth of Frank. I guess this is Frank. This dude looks like a hammerhead shark. I'm really loving how, whoa, weird and abstract these images are. 
they really had fun with the design on this one. I'd be curious to know uh, like what the inspiration was, if they had like a specific kind of idea in mind or if anything inspired this, like if, I don't know, a particular artist inspired this type of look or if it was truly just like freehand, just doodling. I'd be curious to know if Mills had anything to do with the design. There's the Ace of Spades. It says Jakey Franks, Como Rebbe. I love the zigzag. That's it. Those are all the cards. No jokers. There are only two extra ad cards. Those are these ones right here. These feel really nice right out the box. This is the type of stock and finish that I vibe with from Taiwan. I remember a while ago, a cardist was talking to me about this edition and they were really disappointed with how they felt. And you know, I can understand if you're a diehard USPC fan, maybe, you know, not vibing with a deck from Taiwan, but uh, have you tried WJ playing cards? Lower your standards, friends. <laughs> a new standard of what makes a deck of card feels good, it's dropped significantly. These feel great. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, they don't feel like they're gonna clump within like six hours of me using them. So that alone is a win, bro. Let's just get right into an out of box rating. Back design. Honestly, I love the first edition of the Franks so, 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 so much. This back design, I am not as big of a fan of. I don't necessarily think it looks bad, but it's hard to beat the first edition. Overall, it's still funky looking. It's still creative looking. I will give the back design like a seven and a half. Feeling and handling. Again, this feels like a deck that I'm going to enjoy. They're soft, they're smooth, they fan wonderfully. They've got a nice thickness and snappiness to them. For now, out of the box, I will give the feeling and handling a nine. Overall theme and aesthetic. I think Como Rebbe always does a really nice job with their theme and aesthetic. If you're not the biggest fan of the back design, uh, the faces are gonna blow you away. The landscape design is really cool. I don't know how I didn't notice this until now, but the pips are landscape style. The pips here are not. These pips are still facing the correct way. So it's kind of like a weird hybrid of landscape and normal face cards. Court cards are really, really weird and really funky looking in a really abstract way. I love the tiny little hints of color in the pips with the greens and the purples. I'm gonna give the theme and aesthetic a 10. All right, I'm going to handle these playing cards for a while and I will be right back. Okay, here are my final thoughts and review of the awful Jakey Franks. Back design. Out of the box, I gave the back design a 7.5. I think we're gonna stick to a 7.5. Like I said, I kind of like the first edition a little bit better. Overall, I don't think the back design's anything crazy. It's not a boring back design, it's not a bad back design. It doesn't blow me out of the water too much. Feeling and handling. Out of the box, I gave the feeling and handling a nine. We're gonna land on a 9.5 for feeling and handling. Uh, but, but, uh, but Jake, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Jake, uh, you actually said, actually. It's you, those, that's my fan base. Uh, uh, but Jake, uh, excuse me, Jake, uh. <laughs> But you said, you said that these cards feel better than WJPC playing cards. I did say that, yes I did. Uh, but but you, in your all, uh, other videos, have given WJPC playing cards a 9.8 and even a 9.9 .9 on feeling and handling and these got a 9.5. Well guess what? Opinions change, opinions change, just like the leaves. <laughs> yeah. Um, my explanation for that is that I was simply coping hard. Uh, look, uh, opinions change. My opinion is gonna change over time. You know, every card company and they mama are going to WJPC playing cards nowadays. And there was a time where I was just opening 
just, just opening WJPC playing cards, right? The, those were the only decks that I was opening. And so sometimes you get into this little bubble and you're like, you know what? These are pretty good. These aren't that bad. But then your bubble gets bursted by uh, a sick deck of USPC. <laughs> Look, WJPC, they're fine for like the first week of you using the cards, but I I can not be rating them that highly anymore. I just can't. They just they just simply do not hold up. So honestly, uh, a perfect 10 score for feeling and handling, kind of gold standard, uh, is a really nice USPC deck. And 9.5s uh, are decks like these, are the nice decks from Taiwan that I like, the, the ones that I vibe with. They don't feel quite as nice, but you know, you can still fan them out real nice. They feel real soft and smooth still. Honestly, these feel great. I really like how these feel. And then WJPC, those have got to go down a little bit. Those have got to go down to at least just a nine. Yeah, this isn't a perfect channel. This isn't a perfect rating system. My opinions on things like that are going to change over time. So, um, shut up and that's where we're at. Overall theme and aesthetic, out of the box, I gave these a 10. I think I'm actually going to land closer to a nine. This deck is very customized. And I feel like I, I, I tend to give big scores for theme and aesthetic if they're very customized. And that should be rewarded, hence the nine. But when it comes to the overall aesthetic, the, the overall look and aesthetic of this deck, I don't think it is a full 10. Still a really cool deck of cards, still really cool customization, very abstract, very artsy, but I'll, I'll give it a nine. I will give it a solid nine. Overall, that brings this deck's total score to 8.6. That's a good score. I feel good about that score. A high eight for this deck, I feel is right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe or else suffer the wrath of a hor horrible, horrible curse upon you and your family. Thousand years of poop decks. May thy deck poop and clump. If you'd like to sponsor Card Corner, you can email me at jakejarviscards at gmail.com. Thank you, and I will see you on the next one.